Welcome back to the cruise world. Today we're on board Royal Caribbean's brand new ship, Icon of the Seas, taking a look at Ocean View Stateroom 9502. Whether you're already booked or looking for that perfect ship, the Cruise World has you covered with ship and room tours, vlogs, tips, parodies, and a whole lot more. So if you love cruising, make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell turned on. Entering the room, you can see that there's a lot of space in here. On our left is the desk area, and we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Over here on our right is a single chair between the bed and the closet. Now this was a nice, comfortable bed, but space was a little limited moving around it. And as you can see, there's a lot of room here in front of this large picture window. Now, we would have liked to see a couple of chairs in here, maybe a small table, but what we did end up doing is moving the one chair over here during our cruise. Also, you'll notice the old-fashioned drawstring curtains. We would have expected motorized curtains on the icon, and it's important to note that in the evenings, you have to keep the curtains shut so that the light doesn't disturb the captain up on the bridge. Over here on the left side of the bed, there's a nightstand with a lamp, but there's no outlets or USBs over here on this side. Over on the right side of the bed is the phone, a standard outlet, as well as one USB-A outlet. Over to the right of the desk by the TV, there's some small storage spaces and a couple more USB-A outlets. Now we use these to charge batteries for our devices. The desk is a little on the small side, but over here on the right there is a standard and a European outlet, as well as two more USB-As. You'll find the Kleenex and a hair dryer right here in the drawer. And down below is your mini cooler. And finally, over here on the left side of the desk, there are two USB-C type outlets. All right, now it's time to take a look at the storage in this room, and there's ample space here to hang your clothes. But instead of the drawers, they have these wire baskets down here that took a little bit of getting used to, but ended up working pretty well for us. Just to the right of the main closet space is the full-length mirror, and behind that, the space opens up to access the safe, as well as five more storage compartments. Now on to the bathroom, which was pretty nice. There's some extra storage over next to the toilet. The counter around the sink is not huge, but to the left there are more storage spaces as well as two more standard outlets. And there's also some storage underneath the sink area. Now onto the shower, and if you didn't see the towel rack out in the bathroom, that's because it's here in the shower, right above the, wait for it, bench seat. Now this shower has a glass door, which is so much better than a curtain that likes to hug you. And this is just a really nice cruise ship shower. Finally, let's talk about the thermostat. And in addition to changing the temperature from here, you can also choose from a couple of different light modes. And you can even control your temperature and lighting from anywhere on the ship through the Royal Caribbean app. Just log in, scroll over to Stateroom, and you can set the room temperature to whatever you'd like, or you can even freak your spouse or kids out by turning off and on some lights. Just do that at your own risk. We had a great time in this cabin, and we got some great views out of the front of the ship, and I know that sometimes it can get a little rocky all the way up front, but this ship is huge, and the stabilizers were working great because we had no issues with movement. That being said, if you like to sleep in on port days, you may want to consider another room location because you will hear the horn blast as you're pulling into port. Thanks for checking out Icon of the Seas Ocean View Stateroom 9502 with us today. Icon is an amazing ship. If you have any questions about her or you're ready to book your next cruise vacation, give us a call at the number below or email us at thecruiseworldtravel at gmail.com. 
Be sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on the latest cruise content. But most of all, remember, life is short and cruising is fun. We'll see you next time.